one of Edison's earliest phonographs for home entertainment and the first non-electric machine was the so-called spring motor, built in 1895. It got a facelift in 1900 and was renamed Triumph, later to be known as Triumph Model A. In another facelift around 1906, Triumph Model B was placed in a paneled case with a simple script dec decal. And this is what we see here. Subsequently, models D, E, F and G were built and sold until 1913. The Triumph has a three-spring Triton motor and was one of the most powerful machines Edison ever manufactured. It was capable of playing for half an hour up to 16 two-minute records with one single wind-up and shave brown wax home recording cylinders efficiently. After four minute cylinders were available in 1908, the Triumph B could be equipped with the four to two, two to four minute conversion kit that had in the beginning a lever for switching. A little later the combination mechanics could be switched with the fingernail as seen here. The phonograph is sold with the then optional rare blue flower morning glory horn. These horns were made by third parties and sold well, since Edison horns were not very attractive. We listened to a 1904 two-minute gold-molded wax cylinder, The Man Behind, by Collins and Harlan, and then shortly to a four-minute Amberol cylinder, incorrectly played with the same two-minute Model C reproducer, just to demonstrate the two to four-minute gear change. It's the man behind the gun that he can take. Far am I the man behind? 